Philippines is a rich tropical archipelago with 7,640 islands and over 115,830 square miles blessed with abundant natural resources that got many tourists from around the world and made the country as one of the most visited places in the world. But how did the Philippines have been discovered and how do we get culture of hospitalization? In 1521, a Portuguese explorer named Ferdinand Magellan with other Spaniards attempted to sail around the world and came to Homonhan Island in eastern Samar, Philippines. For their first circumnavigation, stop around the globe and they discovered the Philippines where they also came up with name after their king which is King Philip II. During 1950, the Philippine Tourist and Travel Association, or PTTA, was founded in 1950 with the goal of promoting tourism in the Philippines, increasing the accessibility of vacation locations as well as the quality and affordability of tourism products, creating a tourism culture among locals and growing recognition of tourism as an effective and efficient tool for the Philippine socioeconomic growth. During 1880 to 1990s, it is the making of town Iloilo as Green City. Iloilo City came from the shape of the city Cadbury River, which looks like the shape of a nose, Erong Erong. Most like later became Iloilo. Other accounts point the region of the name to a fish. In year 1880, Iloilo was referred to as the most important commercial port in the Philippines after Manila. By the year 90s, the city widely known by its sobriquet Green City of Southern Philippines and became next to Manila in the most commercial town of the Philippines. It is according to Henry F. Confenteca. The Hotel de Oriente was built in 1889 by Don Manuel Perez Marquete, the father of Luis Perez Samanela, owner of the Perez Samanelo building in Escolta. It was a first class hotel and indeed at one time was the only one in the entire archipelago. Don Perez Marquete selected the site in Binondo at the Plaza Calderon de la Barca. Now, Plaza Lorenzo next to the Flow Line Insular Cigarette and Cigar Factory. Next is the word Malayan. A well-recognized historian, Chidoro A. Goncilio, mentioned in his book, History of the Filipino People, that hospitality and most Filipino traits were acquired from the Malayan traditions. 2001, the government adopted tourism among its pillars for sustained economic growth by attracting more visitors, extending their length of stay, and increasing the attractiveness of the tourism products of the country. The government, through National Ecotourism Strategy, or NAS, identified the goals of ecotourism as follows. First, to develop globally competitive ecotourism products. Second, to develop responsible ecotourism market and to optimize community benefits and enhance the quality of visitors' experience from ecotourism. Word Babuhay. This became a well known greeting in the Philippines as a way of welcoming foreigners in the country. Babuhay pronounced as Mabuhay, a Tagalog word which means to like or long let. We use it like the Spanish do when they cheer viva or Hawaiians when they greet. One year between 1972 to 1986. It is the era in which former President Ferdinand Marcos declares martial law. A significant increase in foreign tourist arrival can be noted beginning in 1972 until 1980. During this era, several initiatives were undertaken by the government to boost the tourist 
industry in the country as part of the integrated reorganization plan of 1972 provided under presidential decree number one was recognized that lead to the establishment on the Department of Trade and Tourism, which was mandated to oversee the tourism industry in the relation to the economy growth of the country.